There we go, folks. The official start of the trip. We're out on the river. Right now we're on part of the Kedjewick. It eventually joins the rest of Goosh. This is our first time going down a river with the canoe, so we're looking forward to this one. It's going to be a great time. We're looking at between six to seven nights on the river, taking our time and just enjoying it. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Man, it's nice here. <laughs> oh, crystal clear water. Paddling down the hills everywhere around us. It's been a dream trip for a long time. So excited to be here. <laughs> I'm just like looking around. Look at the hill behind us. Yeah. Wow. Give you guys a parting shot of the start of our trip. Yeah, you can see the fish. Look. Yo. Uh, and that's the start. <laughs> Gonna be great. Yeah, I think we are. Cool, Can you check? Oh, yeah, we're filming. You hope because you're having your all-star moments. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the water is a bit shallow, don't you think, Brandon? Okay, get out the other side. Get out that side. He's shallow at some spots. <laughs> yeah, that would have been the spot over there. You were right, Simon. That was slow and nice over there. Going past over or what? What? No, keep going past it. Past the tree. That's it. Go more to the right. Yeah, go more to the right because we're going to be in front of them. Clouds have turned gray and it's uh, the wind's picking up. It feels like a, a rainstorm is in the horizon. We're uh, basically taking our chances so far. I mean, it's not like we're in any danger, but you don't want to get stuck in a rainstorm on the first day, get all your gear wet. Right so far, we're doing good. Good time, rubbing down on the ground a few times, but uh, just a beautiful spot. The water here is crystal clean. It's absolutely awesome. Well, the on and off rain that they were calling for today didn't have an off button. It rained for the last couple of hours. It's cold too. It was cold rain and it's really cold for June, for end of June. It's probably around minus 15 and tops when that rain was hitting with colder, but 
managed to find a nice little site here. This is early in the trip, so the, they actually have a little A-frame, which was great for us. We didn't have to set up the tarp. We've been here for a little while and had uh, ate some uh, ate some supper, and eventually the the rain stopped. So we're gonna set up here for the night. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a great fun day, but the, that rain, oh man, was it ever cold. Got here shaking, the first thing I did was change. Didn't do anything other than that, it was just really cold. So we've got a chunk of um, cardboard sorry, that's been soaked in some sort of paraffin. Take a couple of thin slices off of it and hopefully it'll give us enough shavings. When we put it on the fire here, we can stick the ferro rod to it and something happens. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh my God. Look at that. Conditions are really wet. It's been raining all day, so this fire is going to be welcome. And also chase some mosquitoes. Away. There's quite a few out tonight. Yeah. This scrubby game didn't get wet, did it? Nope. Well, even if it did. But it was in a dry bag at the time. You want to give us a tutorial? <laughs> this is the uh, wet hat, or I should say, wet took tutorial. Unfortunately, today we let the toque fall out of our pocket while we were in the canoe and it was raining. <laughs> we're expecting about five, six degrees Celsius tonight, so the took is going to be needed <laughs> and the took needs to be dry. <laughs> Leftover. Uh, Hamburger from the other day at Mount Carlton, so don't want to keep it too long all of our stuff We don't have a cooler or anything, so we're gonna just warm it over the fire heat up a button and we're done It's a giant meat lolly <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to lose it? No <laughs> Really I should have been thinking ahead I could have had the toque off to one side and the burger on the other side I guess I could lay it down. If you if you timed it right, you could put your cheese on top of it right at the end. <laughs> that falls in. Multi oh, the tooth's gonna catch on fire. Oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. is gonna it's burn. Close. Oh, no, I shouldn't have said a word. The video would have gotten out of that. <laughs> Maybe it would have been happy. Yeah. What a true Canadian statement. <laughs> your tooth's yeah. gonna catch on fire. No. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Having a great old time here. We're just sitting in the strangest thing so far since we got here. Two trees just that ran and fell. And <laughs> Burger lolly! packed up and ready to go. We have a short little paddle today, so we're really going to be taking her easy. We're only doing around 10 uh, kilometers and a uh, beautiful sunny day. This is going to turn out to be a really nice one.
Well, after yesterday's day of uh, a lot of rain and cold, this is a beautiful one. Have a nice, easy paddle down the river. A couple little rabbits here. Beautiful waterfall early on. This river is, uh, a lot of it is managed, I guess you could say. It's, it's got quite the salmon fishery, so a lot of these waters, uh, you're not allowed to fish without a guide because um, a lot of it is unfortunately private access water but for, uh, when it comes to fishing but any brooks that are leading into the river if I go at least uh, 30 meters up uh, we're allowed to you know, throw in a line and see if we can catch some trout in one of those brooks so I mean it doesn't really detract from the beauty of this place that we can't fish the main water it's just absolutely beautiful this is great This is site number two on the Keswick. We were uh, supposed to stop at uh, another campsite, but the uh, it was a bit high up on the embankment. It was really steep to carry all our gear. Plus, it was really early in the trip, and we didn't have much of a view of the river. So we decided to keep on going. We eventually settled on this little island here, and uh, it's a bit of a rocky beach on three flat spots. Right now, we're just cooking up our supper, and we're just going to take her easy. It's uh, been a really hot day, but uh, so beautiful sail. So I'm just preparing my supper. I'm having uh, uh, chili mac macaroni and Sandra is having a rice medley. Uh, should be ready in the next few minutes. Looking forward to it. Kind of hungry. So here we are on the Kedgewick River, second day of our paddling trip, just building ourselves a little log cabin fire here to uh, to get going. I'm not sure what the proper technology terminology is, but as you can see, we're just building it up like a log cabin. And generally you want to get slightly smaller wood as you move towards the top. We'll put a good bit of kindling and then essentially it burns down to the t from the top and gives you a really nice space to uh, to get a fire going. That's the right, so uh, time again. we got our fire bundle ready. Uh, Brandon uh, collected most of the firewood. I'm going to try to get this started. Got a little bit of uh, my favorite kindling, dryer lint. My favorite because it's free. Here we can get this started. Out. All right, there's smoke, there's fire. I think it should be good to go. <clears throat> nice. Okay, here's our log cabin fire about four minutes after ignition. And as you can see, it's burning down from the top. So the idea here is you put larger wood at the bottom, top burns down, you build up a nice uh, bed of ashes and coals, I should say. And then that allows you to put on the larger wood that we can see Brandon bringing in here. <laughs> After that, we'll just start heaping it up like a PP style. Jeez. <laughs> the passion of the Brandon. <laughs> Alright, so this is our first uh, ever canoe trip on the river. 
Sandra has been pretty adamant about trying to keep the canoe as scratch proof as possible. I'm going to let her pull the camera while Simon and I bring it over to cover our gear. And, Andrew? Did you bring any tissue? In case I cry? No, we didn't bring any tissue. Alright, so first we're going to pull it out, then we'll flip it out. Yeah, let's right let's get it all the way up there, and then yeah. we'll flip it over the pile. This was new last year, I guess. Here we go. Big reveal. <laughs> I don't like jeans. <laughs> oh my god. Wait till it drops. Well, it's not so. Oh yeah, look at all the bumps. There's your TIE fighters right there. <laughs> Did it indent it? It <laughs> didn't scratch it. It's got a series of bumps. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's pretty okay, good. Yeah, but that's alright. That'll it's all good. It gives it character. Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought. Maybe when it dries, it's going to yeah, be all, when it dries, it's gonna be all like this. Yeah. <laughs> but you can see all those bumps you didn't see before. That's why when we hit the rocks, it goes... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. Well, it had, were as there. long as it's having fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so as long as you're having fun. Oh, yeah, I know I'm having do. fun, yeah. yeah. So it's uh, relatively early morning on uh, day three of Wednesday. I had a uh, pretty good night's sleep. We're uh, usually we sleep in a little bit, but uh, it's going to be a really scorching day today. So we're hoping to get the miles in early so that we can get to our camping spot. Hopefully, we'll have a nice deep pool. We can go for a swim. I think so. Look at all of them. Holy, there's a lot. Alright, here we are on Croc Point Island on the Restigoose River. Just stopping for uh, brunch, sort of. We left in good time, which means we didn't eat much this morning, so having a snack now, and then we've got to paddle again for oh, an hour and a bit. We don't actually have that far to go. I think the plan worked out though, it's starting to warm up a bit, so nice that we are able to get going in uh, good time and hopefully avoid most of the heat of the day. Mike's just getting a pot of fresh Restigouche River water to make some coffee. So this is the junction where the Kedgewick River meets the Restigouche. Famous Salmon River here in New Brunswick. Famous for salmon fishing, but also for uh, just canoeing. I guess it's absolutely gorgeous scenery wise. Nice, easy paddle, so. We're starting the next leg of the trip. This is Jimmy's hole. Mm -hmm. I recognize Jimmy's hole on that. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh,
Here's Brandon, working away in the hot sun. <laughs> Brandon, there are people about to come by. Just an FYI. How's the water? We are uh, fireside at uh, the Halford campground right along the Restigoose River. We're about 25 kilometers down from the mouth of the Kedgewick. We paddled out of the Kedgewick first thing this morning and uh, sitting around fireside. Uh, I don't know, Mike, what do you, uh, you have to contribute for today's uh, storyline? Uh, Damn. It's hot. <laughs> it's hot. It's a bit of really crust. Hot cooking. Mm. Butterness, mixed ass, and a wagon run. So we're about we're about at the, the 55k mark, I think, of a total of 120. So uh, got a few longer days of paddling coming up, but uh, we've been taking it easy. It's just a nice, easy sail, having a ton of fun. We just <laughs> oh, it's the bug bites. Sorry, it's sorry, it's the bug bites. <laughs> Didn't bother you too much with the drone. Did you see me waving? Yeah. Well, we weren't sure if you were waving or giving us the finger. Yeah. But, uh, we saw something going on. <laughs> Mike's going to have the smoke effect uh, lens on there. Mm -hmm. uh, part of camping. Yeah. Smoke in your Makes eyes. Makes you feel like you're there. Yeah. Smoke. If only they can smell that. Smell a vision. <laughs> smell a smell vision. vision. But just that, not us. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was in the water today. Yeah. I showered. Yeah, I yeah. smell fairly smoky. <laughs> I watered today. Yeah, you sat in there for a few hours. Yeah, a couple of days. Yeah. Well, a few minutes, then, I just And then even sat a few in, minutes. Your, yeah. in a chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For a long time, feels like forever, pumping water. <clears throat> so Simon yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that footage. Because I had her zoomed in pretty good right when the canoe's right, right, oh, right yeah, behind you. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. I'm oblivious. Yeah. 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 That was pretty funny. But I heard this knock, knock, and I was like, <laughs> oh, look, it's a canoe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, several canoes. <laughs> what was I thinking? I wonder if they find this funny as I do. <laughs> All right, so we're going to shut the camera off for the evening. We're just going to sit by the fire. It's a gorgeous night. Tomorrow morning we may head out. We were supposed to spend two nights here, but uh, if the weather is nice and clear, we we might head out. Either way, we'll see you guys in the morning.
morning of day four. We're packing up. The weather's not too bad. It's not raining. So we're going to be loading up the uh, the canoes. It takes a while to get all the gear all set, but uh, we're getting there slowly. There's no immediate rush. So we're going to have a nice day. Might do anywhere from 15 to 25 kilometers, but uh, I think it's perfect and ideal paddling weather right now. So we just launched off of our uh, campsite there. It's uh, grayed over and we've got a bit of odd drop of rain, nothing serious. Just as we were leaving the campground, the, uh, the guys from uh, Parks, I presume it is, uh, showed up with the mower and weed whackers and everything and keeping the place uh, tidy. It was actually in, it was a really nice clean site when we got there, probably one of the better outhouses we've ever seen. Those guys uh, helped make it happen. <laughs> Get above me. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys too. You guys. You coming down and you guys <laughs> Night number four campsite. Had a great day of paddling on the Restigouche River. Had a few rapids here and there. Got stuck a couple of times. Had to do a little bit of walking in the river. Uh, been, but it's been a great day. I had the uh, moose come out, beaver. You have the eagles right next to our site. Can't complain. It's pretty spectacular. It's pretty awesome. So I better go help out with the fire. If not, uh, they're going to throw me out of the, the group. So. Catch up with you guys later.
Da, da, da. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Any thoughts on the new bug zone? The no bug zone by Eureka, it's fantastic. <laughs> well, Simple are... setup, two stakes, couple of ropes. Doesn't get much easier. We got a couple of bugs stuck in the corner. <laughs> but they're not on us. So. Okay. Were you, there's you, no flies did on you me. Did mosquitoes inside? I haven't since no, I got here. I think there's more fleas inside than there is outside <laughs> the bug out. I was just wondering the But the other thing the, the bug out has going for you is it's not raining in here. It's definitely not raining in here. No. Friday, so this is uh, day five of the river trip, day seven of the total trip. You include a, our time at Mount Carlton. Trip's coming to an end in the next day or two, but uh, still we have a couple of at least one good day of paddling, possibly two. It's been a fun trip. It's been really a blast. Beautiful countryside. The weather's been okay. We've had some rain here and there, but uh, managed to, except for on the first day, we managed to avoid the majority of it. Yeah, no bug zone tent worked out great yesterday. We were able to sit out there for hours and uh, even in the rain, just to uh, relax and enjoy. All in all, it's been it's been a lot of fun, and uh, hopefully we'll have a lot more fun stuff happening in the next couple of days. Bottom? Uh, just one or two rocks sticking up. Right in that dip, we, oh, yeah. we hit her hard. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, no. Boom. I, yeah. If you can get close, I'm filming. Simon's got bread. 
that. You're seeing the duck too, right? Yeah, thank you. Look at that tree right there. This is weird. The welcome committee. Simon's got bread there. Uh -huh. Simon's got bread on his paddle. Really? Yeah. Look how much we drop coming out on the corner. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this one could be splashy, splashy. Yeah, as long as it's not tipping, tipping. Yeah. water. <laughs> Look at him splash. Oh my god. Hopefully there's no rocks in there. Fresh spring water.
paddle, Mike, paddle. <laughs> Come on. Do the best I can. I'm being princess. <laughs> <laughs> Just coming into Jardine Brook. This is our campsite for tonight. Well, it's uh, day number five. We made it to Jardine Brook campsite. Uh, Sandra and I are gonna set up up here. We've had a really nice day of paddling. We had a few rocks here and there and a couple of really fun rapids. So it was a good time, really good time. Uh, so we're going to set up our tent. Uh, we can hear some thunder rolling right now, uh, but uh, it may miss us. So we're going to set up up here and uh, spend the night uh, at the Jardine Brook.
so it's got this nice little trail there's very little water going down I don't think if I do catch anything it'll be of anything of any substance or size but it is beautiful in here right now oh, it's running right yeah now? tiny little brook trout in this tiny little brook here we'll show you what the brook looks like I keep getting hits after hits after behind this little log I've been saving this one for uh, the last night of the trip. Little off grid ales. Double IPA. <laughs> it's gonna be good. That's not bad at all. So glad we didn't lose that on the ramp today. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this is going to wrap it up for our last day here out on this beautiful river. Uh, we did the rest of Goosh and the Kedgewick. We still have a few kilometers left, so I hope you guys tag along for the rest of it. But uh, man, what a great time. Beautiful, beautiful area. Big thanks to Gene, Simon, and uh, Brandon for uh, coming along with us. It was a real pleasure. I hope you guys enjoyed what you've seen so far and enjoy till the end. Anyway, other than that, take care, everyone.
wonder if he's injured. Huh? He doesn't look like fat. Sorry everyone, I wanted to do an extra little bit of video at the end uh, after our last camping site, but unfortunately all of our cameras are out of battery life. The one that we had running right now uh, came, became victim of some splashing off a rapid that we hit, so it's not working. So this is going to be our sign off. Thanks again everyone for joining us, really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy this. Take care. <laughs>